Republican Senator Jeff Sessions, the first U.S. Senator to come out in support of Donald Trump, was a U.S. attorney in Alabama when then-President Ronald Reagan nominated him for the federal court. But the appointment broke down at Sessions' 1986 confirmation hearing when allegations over his alleged racial remarks took center stage, allegations that Sessions angrily denied then and now. I am not a racist. I am not insensitive to blacks. I have supported civil rights activity in my state. I have done my job with integrity, equality, and fairness for all. I Transcripts of that Senate Judiciary hearing show that Thomas Figures, a black former assistant U.S. attorney in Alabama, testified Sessions called him boy and joked about the Ku Klux Klan. I state categorically that I have never called Mr. Figures boy. And Gerald Hebert, who was a Justice Department lawyer, also testified. Sessions called the NAACP and ACLU un-American and communist-inspired. Hebert recalled Sessions said that he thought they did more harm than good when they were trying to force civil rights down the throats of people who were trying to put problems behind them. In a heated exchange with then-Senator Joe Biden, Sessions denied calling the National Council of Churches and the NAACP un-American. My opinion is they have not. They may have taken positions that I consider to be adverse to the security interest of the United States. Does that make them un-American? No, sir, it does not. No, does that make the positions un-American? No. Sessions also denied a statement that he thought Klan members were okay until he learned they smoked marijuana. This assertion is ludicrous. I detest the Klan. He went on to testify that I am loose with my tongue on occasion, and I may have said something similar to that or could be interpreted to that. His seat on the court was denied, but 10 years later, he was elected to the Senate and went on to become the Judiciary Committee's top Republican member. He told CNN's Dana Bash in 2009 that the allegations of racism were heartbreaking. That was not fair. That was not accurate. Those were false charges and distortions of anything that I did. And it really was not. I never had those kind of views. And I was caricatured in a way that was not me. Today, Gerald Hebert tells CNN he stands by his testimony from 30 years ago. The allegations that uh, I made against him and things that I had heard firsthand from him were things that demonstrated gross racial insensitivity to black uh, citizens of Alabama and the United States. Hebert says Sessions shouldn't be anywhere near the cabinet. He has never backed off of the comments he made at that time. He never has apologized for them. The fact that he would be considered to lead a, a government agency at the cabinet level is very alarming to me.